Okay guys, so uh, there's something that I want to share with you today. Um, there's two things actually. Uh, the first one is these uh, not very nice uh, Chinese LEDs. It's uh, Chihiros, I think they call it like that, Chihiros. Uh, it's the one that uh, uh, its length is uh, 50 centimeters, but uh, they have uh, uh, bigger and shorter ones. Uh, the LEDs looks like uh, the cheap kind, but uh, even though I've got a couple of friends that I've seen in my own eyes that uh, uh, have a very nice riff growing uh, with these kind of lights, it's a very nice light for uh, the one that uh, uh, doesn't have uh, uh, a lot of budget. Uh, and they actually uh, giving a very good value for your money so uh, I'll show you it there in uh, action we are in the middle of the day as you can see it's Sun right there uh, and it's still very very bright lighting uh, I can show you right now the light looks very very nice um, they uh, they have a I'll, I'll just turn it off for a second. They have a very nice fixture, uh, very slim design. Uh, it goes in the Red Sea uh, like perfectly. Uh, I can show you what I did, but uh, you can do whatever you want in my Red Sea. Uh, I didn't get uh, the uh, original lightning. Uh, even though I'm not a, a great fan of uh, of uh, uh, fluorescent, but this is another issue. So uh, I just made uh, two holes and uh, and hold the the fixture with a plastic band, just a regular one. Uh, it holds it very very nice, very firm. I can I can I can move it with my own. Uh, hands right now uh, this is the power adapter again uh, I just uh, uh, placed him with a, a plastic band very very nice uh, and and the whole controls and everything else was uh, was going through here through here to the electricity bay uh, right now it's outside, but uh, I'll uh, uh, put it inside when I'll finish. So uh, just so you know, one thing you can't actually put your wires in in there. There's very very tight hole in there. So actually, I had to cut them and resolder them uh, in the other side, so uh, they'll fit in. Unless I was uh, uh, giving up on the opportunity to to choose between the blues and uh, and whites and uh, dimmering, but uh, it's also an option. Uh, I chose to cut them and uh, solder them inside, but uh, uh, it's not that hard. It's very very nice, uh, and this is what I did. Uh, so I'll uh, I don't have uh, my own uh, experience with this kind of LEDs. Uh, but I do have a friends that I've seen in my own eyes their uh, tanks and they are looking amazing. I'll upload the pictures of their tanks right now, so you can see uh, the the tanks is very thriving. The the corals looks great. Everything looks great. Uh, and I don't I don't uh, um, my concerns about these LEDs and every LEDs that LEDs do do get hot and in the long term this, this is shortening their life so I thought to myself what could I do to to make it cooler all the time so obviously the fence uh, was the perfect uh, uh, solution for this one but uh, I didn't want the fence to, to walk all the time actually it makes a lot of noise uh, and very unpleasant to sit uh, by the aquarium where the fans are uh, always working and uh, and the other one it's the 
the real reliability of them uh, will go very very bad among the time if they work every, uh, 24 hours a day so the other thing I want to share with you is a system that I, I, I built uh, it's made uh, out of uh, Arduino uh, this is the Arduino uh, I probed the meat so uh, the fan there's a, a temperature uh, transistor over here that every time that the transistor uh, feels more than 36 uh, degrees the fans the fans are start working so uh, actually I've been doing a lot of beta testing and uh, uh, this is working very very nice I'll, I'll turn on the LEDs and turn on the system so you can see right now uh, the fence will uh, work uh, for three seconds that uh, this is for the start just so I know they are working uh, and uh, uh, this is this is it absolutely absolutely like the original packaging everything in place uh, these are the, the power adapters one for the Arduino and one for the fans actually they are uh, not similar this is a 9 volt this is a 12 volt uh, of course everything is uh, sealed with silicone so uh, even if I'll add uh, 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 water in it or uh, maybe uh, steam or things like that uh, there won't be an issue so uh, I'll update you later for how this system works this aquarium uh, had to be filled in the closest week uh, and I'll uh, put you uh, um, monthly updates I, I don't I, I hope monthly updates uh, on how the the lightning works and uh, how my reef uh, my reef tank is uh, growing or not growing with the, with this kind of light. So uh, this is the my review and my experience right now. I hope it's right. Uh, if you guys have any question, please uh, comment me below and I'll I'll try to answer them. Uh, and that's all. See ya.